update 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 guys i'm on uh day five of my black seed oil um what am i gonna call this my black seed oil uh antibiotics journey and as you can see um my arms are clearing i've got dark spots now of course where the bigger areas were and they dried up um i've been using the black seed oil both um, internally and sometimes externally but more so than anything um, I've been using it internally with the chlorofresh and then um, I've been using the oregano oil externally and uh, tea tree oil to help dry it up so I'm really really happy with the results um, in just five days and you know other um, stronger antibiotics have um, some pretty nasty side effects so I'm glad not to kind of have to deal with that I haven't had any effects um, from the black seed oil okay um, so things are coming along good with my healing thank God I'm still, you see me scratch? I'm still itchy. I'm still itchy. My shoulders itch. And, uh, oh, you can't really see the bumps. On my shoulders is micro bumps. Same thing on my chest, micro bumps. So you can't really, you can't really see them. But anyway, they're there and they're itchy. So, um, I'm happy that, you know, my healing is coming along. I have been really hitting this, you know, health regimen to heal myself from the inside out. And also just being very um, diligent about my external topical treatments. I've been really, really diligent about that. So uh, if you didn't watch my previous video, um, basically what's going on is I have a bacterial infection um, which I believe is in my bloodstream. I have not been diagnosed by a doctor because I couldn't get in with one in time. Um, and I was having some really, really serious um, breakouts and of um, bumps that were filled with liquid, um, like boils. And um and other small micro bumps and so um i had to start an antibiotics regimen of some natural antibiotics because i went to um the pharmacy and i was thinking oh well maybe this is like in mexico or other places outside of the states where you can just go to the pharmacy and get an antibiotic but um in that way this place In that way, this place is a lot um, similar to the states. And it's a US territory, so it is what it is. Um, the medical system does not allow that. Uh, but I was able to pick up black seed oil and chlorofresh. So I want to speak to the chlorofresh for a minute. Um, it's bomb. I didn't expect to have such pronounced results so quickly. Um, but those chlorophyll tabs are amazing. And without getting into too much TMI, uh, I don't wanna make this video gross, but I think it's, you know, it's cool for transparency and it may help somebody, you know, you never know what somebody else is going through and they're going through it, you know, silently or whatever and they're embarrassed. And um, I'm just not a person who gets embarrassed, <laughs> who gets embarrassed too heavily, you know, about talking about personal things. Um, which annoys my husband <laughs> to no degree. He's like, why would you say that? I'm like, what's the big deal? But um, but he's a lot more private than I am. I'm just like an open book. So um, I had struggled for years, for years and years and years with body pH and just really trying to be more natural um, has been a challenge, a significant challenge. Um, if you've ever tried to come off of using 
um, antiperspirants and using only deodorants or using natural deodorants or, you know, Tom's or, you know, using a concoction of, you know, baking soda and coconut oil with a hint of mint or, you know, whatever. It is challenging. It is really, really challenging to find deodorant that works when you don't want to be um, poisoned by toxic aluminum. And for women, you know, when you want to avoid breast cancer from toxic aluminum under your arms seeping directly into your breast. So um, I struggled with that. And, um, you know, the perspiration that, you know, comes up under the breast, you know what I'm saying? And it's hot here. <laughs> I, um, I lived in Arizona for 10 years where, you know, we faced summers that were typically about 115 to 122 degrees for several months out of the year. Um, so staying cool and not sweating was a challenge. And let's be clear, sweat stinks. Sweat stinks. Um, also, depending on your diet, but I would just say in general, um, urine stinks. So if you're a woman who has um, given birth and as a result don't have the same um, sphincter control um, when it comes to urine, you run into a situation where you have to always wear panty liners because you never know, you know, when it's going to be, you know, a drip drip here and there. And it's not like, you know, no spout or nothing, but it's just throughout the day. Like you just may have a drip here and a drip there and urine has an odor. And that just is what it is. Um, so staying fresh is, is sometimes challenging when you have those issues. Um, but I'm here to tell y'all, the Chlorfresh has cleared up all of that. <laughs> The Chlorofresh has cleared up all of that and come to find out my blood was just toxic. <laughs> Which is crazy because I try my best to eat um, plant-based. I try my best to eat, you know, majority fruits and vegetables. Um, I don't eat red meat. I don't eat pork. I don't eat chicken. Um, I occasionally backslide into a turkey product like once a month. And for the, for the rest of the month, um, I may have like fish twice a month something like that like once a week twice a week I mean once a week or once every other week or something like that not often though usually my food is plant-based problem being you know what else is plant-based cookies cookies are plant-based Twix cookies cakes and pies is plant-based which is why I'm like a fat vegetarian I always have been and like sugar has been my bane and so I think what was happening is that the sugar was causing a level of toxicity in my blood, maybe increasing the growth of candida, which feeds off of it, um, which causes a host of other problems if you read up on candida. Um, and so taking the chlorofresh, I have experienced um, no urine odor at all go to the bathroom smell nothing it's great it's absolutely amazing um the under the under boob sweat you know that sometimes get a little bit extracurricular uh smells very accurate <laughs> you know a little vinegar-esque <laughs> a little seasoned you know uh no under boob sweat is now um Scent free. I still sweat. But I checked the other day. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I checked the other day. I was like, girl, scent free. I was like, oh, this is the key to life. <clears throat> key to life. Now that I think about it, I did not check underarm sweat. But I have not experienced any underarm odor that I can think of and with this whole situation going on um, I have to take bird baths <clears throat> because I have to bathe in um, bottled water so basically um, I have where's my spray let me show y'all my sprayer 
So I have this sprayer right here. That's my shower. So I take some hot water and I put it in there. Um, and I take hot water and I put it in the sink um, with a cap full of bleach just in case the sink was contaminated from someone previously washing their hands or something. Um, and a cap full of bleach and just, um, I use that. I use that to bathe. So I, you know, use washcloth, whatever, whatever in the sink. And then I shower down or, or hose myself down with the sprayer which has been a real a real blessing i ain't gonna lie on top of the fact it saves water which means my whole shower i'm only using two liters of water i think this is good for the environment <laughs> oh man there's silver linings and everything right but um at the end of the day i can't take full-on drenching showers is what i'm trying to explain <clears throat> And I have to use a little sprayer, which does not have um, high water pressure. But just know your girl is not dirty. Your girl still showers. <laughs> I just have to take all these alternative, you know, measures in order to do it. Total side note, we looked for a camp shower. Um, because I was like, babe, I'm going to have to put like a couple gallons of water in, in, a, in a bag. In a camp bag. And like, I need the shower head that goes with it. If you've never seen a camp shower, I'll put a picture up right here. Um basically you just hang it in the shower area and you or wherever you hang it outside <laughs> and you take the little sprayer and you just you know spray yourself down and the water goes through the shower head from um gravity who is outside hold on lord so that was that was someone from remax <laughs> remember i told you they didn't when they when they came was it yesterday Yesterday, day before yesterday, um, they didn't give me the right paper. Like they can't even serve me right. <laughs> they gave me the wrong paperwork. They brought a copy of my lease, and that was it. So she just showed up just now, and she was like, "Oh, they gave me the wrong paperwork to give you yesterday." Notice of termination by landlord. This is my termination letter. <clears throat> It says, take notice that pursuant to a written lease dated February the 9th, you are a tenant for the premises described as 102 Baron Spot. Yes, I am. Okay, which you now hold possession. Your lease ends on August the 31st, which it does. Your lease requires that you be given a 30-day termination of your tenancy. This notice of termination serves as notification of termination. Well, yeah, that's what a notice does. All right, anyway, pursuant to your lease, you are required to vacate the premises on or before 12 noon, August 31st. Uh, all terms and obligations in the lease, including but not limited to the obligation to pay rent, remain um, as of the 31st day of August. Uh, and when you have returned possession to the landlord. This was issued on the 29th day of June, 2021, signed by my landlord. Um, yeah, at 2.47 p.m. Eastern time on the 29th. The day after my property manager lied on me apparently and said that I cussed him out. He immediately contacted the landlord, lied to him, and had my lease terminated. <laughs> Cause that's the energy that these Virgin, men, Virgin Island men be on. Very vindictive, very petty, liars, and um, emotionally fragile. So. But anyway, okay, getting back on task. <laughs> getting back on task. I was telling y'all about the healing that is taking place, not about the foolishness of Remax, St. Croix, or my property manager, that dude, Andre Toussaint. Anyway, so I was telling y'all about um, these bird baths that I have to take, but um, uh, you know, they, they seem to be working. Your girl is clean. And thanks to the Chlorofresh, your girl is non-funky. I'm loving it. So that has been the journey um, this past week. Um, we are still working to get the water in here. Um, we need to, I don't, I don't know to what degree we can actually decontaminate it. So we're trying to figure out for the next two months that we're here, 
how can we make this water safe? Um, it's a little bit cost prohibitive. So in order to get um, the water tested, uh, the place here is called Ocean Labs that they test to see what is in the water and all of that. In order to get the water tested, it's over $500, like $560 some dollars for them to test the water and tell you what's in it. Um, so there's that. And then in order for us to actually clean the water, it needs to be treated and it also needs to be filtered. So now we're talking about we have to put in a RO system even if it's just the small under the sink ones or whatever, or buy, I probably will go on Amazon. I've seen some decently priced, like $40 or something for the filtering shower heads that filter out. It had like 15 layers of filtration or something, you know, charcoal and sand and all these different things in order to filter through the shower head. So that may be a thing. But with the, with the water being so contaminated and me being a novice at how to really deal with this, I don't know that, that, I don't know that that's going to work. And I don't want to take a chance because my vow renewal is coming up August 13th. Like I'm trying to clear up my arm and like get these like marks and things off of my arm before my wedding. Y'all stay with me. Let's continue this conversation up next.